Dr. Akandilwa Akandilwa. I'm a senior lecturer at the University of Zambia the School of Education in the Department of Library and Information Studies. Um, I'm going to walk you through um, the process of cataloging. Um, as we know that cataloging is a very, very important uh, activity or process in library, in libraries. Uh, catalogs are important as they provide, um, it, let me say they're the most important uh, retrieval tool. Yeah. Uh, without catalogs, it's practically impossible to have uh, effective access and efficient access to library, uh, to information resources in libraries. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, cataloging is uh, a process of um, uh, organizing, organizing library and information resources um, begins, uh, has two major uh, phases. The most, uh, these two major phases are uh, descriptive cataloging and the second one is subject cataloging. In descriptive cataloging, uh, we break it into two uh, phases again, physical description, and choice of access points. Uh, physical description involves uh, uh, describing a library information resource um, so that we can uniquely identify it uh, as we access the cattle. Where is uh, choice of access points? Um, in this stage, we determine the major access points we use to uh, retrieve or to access a bibliographical record. Mm -hmm. Now, in physical description, at this stage, what we do is to describe an information resource so that uh, users are able to identify or to know the items mm -hmm. so that they make a choice, okay? Mm -hmm. Whereas in, by determining the access points, we are providing uh, such points which they can use to access a bibliographical record. For example, the author, the title, uh, the subject headings, so if I know yeah. the subject of, of a resource, mm -hmm. that becomes the access point. Yes. If I know the name of the author, mm -hmm. that is the access point. Yes. Okay. Because the main purpose of uh, uh, of a catalog is mm -hmm. to enable a user to access an information resource they are looking for, okay. and this can be accessed by if they know the author. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, if they know the title, okay. or if they know the subject. Okay. I think one, one thing I wanted to also ask is once you are done describing, um, how do you write the access points? Do you, for example, you write the name of the author beginning with the last name. Uh, how do you deal with the title? Do you need to write the title itself or you just write title on the, on the card catalog? Uh, on the card catalog, yes. you write the actual because it depends on if it's a card catalog, mm -hmm. you write the actual title. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We we, we follow standard um, uh, standards and rules. Uh, in this case, we follow the AACR2, which is the the Anglo-American cataloging rules. You know, it, it has been revised. Now we have uh, uh, RDA, which yeah. is coming in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 So we, we, we follow those uh, uh, standards in order to do the cataloging, so that, so that we are consistent in the way we catalog. Okay. Yeah. Um, now, you, you, you gave a, a very nice background of mm. descriptive cataloging. Mm. Uh, how about subject cataloging? In subject cataloging, uh, remember, this is one process. Okay. Uh, it starts with descriptive cataloging. Mm -hmm. It comes down to subject catalog. When you finish the uh, uh, descriptive cataloging, the next stage that you do mm -hmm. is to um, to do subject cataloging. Now, it's the next phase. Okay. Now, in this phase, we determine 
uh, the access points, which are subject headings. Okay. Okay. So now to do that, we need to determine the subject content. Okay. Yeah. What is the subject matter of the library material we are catalog? Okay. So in that case, that's the, the subject. The subject content is determined by describing the subject content using subject headings. These are terms okay. So, okay? Um, or words or okay. groups of words which describe the subject content. So if I hear you right, Doc, you're, you're, you're saying that subject cataloging involves um, analyzing um, a resource so that you know the subject uh, of that resource. Mm -hmm. And then that subject mm -hmm. will be used to access that resource. You are right. Okay. Yes, absolutely right. Okay. So now that's the, that's the, that's the, that's the stage here. Yeah? Okay. And then um, the second stage is to classify. Okay. Now, classification is grouping okay. uh, library resources mm -hmm. according to districts. So that now, library resources that are about the same discipline are grouped together. 